underway. Uh, so this first session, uh, live content, radio, TV, online. Uh, Michael, do you want to kick us off? Yeah, sure. Um, uh, Simon, how are you? Can I just ask you about um, Johnny Sexton and uh, James Ryan, where they are in terms of um, HIA and how they have gone post-match and how they are tracked for the weekend? Yeah, they both um, obviously they're both removed uh, from the game, um, and they are currently going through the the return to play protocols, Michael. So it's I guess it's um, it's a six day or six stage um, uh, set of protocols, where by each stage lasts about twenty four hours, and then each stage, if there's no uh, symptoms um, resulting from the the, the concussion um, that they can progress to the next stage and at the moment they're they're going through that and there's no there's been no setback so far so um, you know that's that's kind of where we're at at the minute there's, there's probably more to more to say later in the week but currently they're both going through the the, the same um, stage protocols to get back to to return to play by the by the weekend. Yeah, it's, yeah. I think that's a good way of putting it. Uh, yeah, we 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 obviously didn't didn't uh, get the start that we would have we would have hoped for, um, and it it puts us yeah it puts us sort of uh, in a I guess in a more difficult position than than we think we should have been. Uh, but uh, there's still there's still a, a massive uh, opportunity at the weekend. Uh, the French coming to town. Uh, opportunity for us to to hopefully um, get parity in terms of numbers on the pitch and and have the opportunity to to showcase what we're what we feel like we're building uh, and yeah like you say for us to to stay alive in the competition it's a, it's a must win. Thank you. Uh, Simon, you mentioned there obviously about James and Johnny Sexton and the return to play protocols. Are you planning that they will be available to play on Sunday? Yeah, as far as we're aware, Sinead, that's exactly what we're planning. Um, but obviously, if, if if a stage is failed, they, they have to drop back a day and then that obviously puts them under pressure. Uh, you know, our, our primary focus is, is their, their health and safety, uh, first and foremost. So if you know if a player, um, which, which may well be the case at some stage this week, if a player feels like they can't um, complete the, the stage they're in, then they obviously have to drop back a stage, and that that um, you know that compromises their availability. But you know, we're we're aware of that, and you know, and you know we have we obviously we have plans in place to um, to to potentially uh, you know have to, to deal with that if if they come along, you know. But at the moment. That's what we're planning for: is that they get through each stage each day, uh, and they uh, they get that one one step further to to making th themselves available by the weekend. Was there consideration given to bringing in another out half just in case? No, not at this stage. No, um, you know, Billy and and Ross have been with us, um, you know, for the last couple of weeks. You know, we're, we're really. You know, really comfortable with where they're at and and what they can offer the team, um, you know, and, and I and I think it's uh, you know credit to them that the, the hard work that they're putting in when they're not necessarily um, getting the minutes with with Johnny being being skipper, but it certainly certainly wasn't a thought of ours. Um, partly due to the fact that we believe you know Johnny will get through those protocols and and, and get back to playing. Um, but also um, feeling like we're, we're confident and we're backing those guys that are in the in the system already and didn't feel the need to to uh, to add to the the squad. Hi Simon, just wondering what the, the spirit is like in the camp. I know you've been through defeats before, but a couple of the things that happened in, in the match what might, were particularly hard to take, I guess. But how is the spirit? How has it been to lift the guys? This group is really resilient. I, I don't believe it's. Uh, yeah, I don't believe it's that hard to do that. It, disappointment will will live with the lads for for a good while, I'm sure. Uh, but like like we know in sport, when you get an opportunity to to um, turn things around and, and play uh, quickly after a defeat, there, there's no better better thing to do. So 
we've had um, a day of, of sort of recovery, sort of mental and physical yesterday. Uh, chats around the group, uh, the opportunity for players to to air a few thoughts and and for them to chat amongst themselves and as coaches for us to to reflect on the performance. Uh, and today it's it's back to business. You know we we um, we have to. We have to hit the ground running, uh, and, and as much as there's still a few sore bodies around, um, mentally the players are in a good place, and, and they understand what it'll take to uh, to get a result this weekend, and, and also the the you know the need to do that to to stay alive in the competition. And when you were talking about players uh, giving their thoughts, and does that happen during the review? Is that kind of an open forum, or does that? focus on stuff you have picked out before how, how's, how does that go without revealing any inside secrets no no secrets <laughs> just it, it's yeah, I guess it's uh, you know we believe in, and what Faz has created here is an opportunity for players to to have an opinion and 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 when um we as coaches are, are sitting and, and reflecting on the game. We're not in it. You know, we're not the ones that are making those decisions and making the, the calls. So it's about a, a collaboration, I guess, of, of thoughts and, and understanding uh, what parts of the game we think we could we could have done better. Uh, parts of the game we thought we did well, and, and parts of the game that we, that we need to improve on. Um, looking at ourselves first and foremost, and, and then you know, we'll be starting to. To, to cast an eye today and, and uh, the course of the week to, to what's coming up next weekend. But certainly it's, a, it's an opportunity for, for everyone to, to open up and, and, um, and, and have an opinion about uh, the performance, whether they, whether they started, whether they're on the bench or whether they're in the wider squad. Thank you. Simon, how have you found the, the last couple of weeks adjusting now to just focusing on the, the defensive role rather than trying to juggle both that and the forwards? Uh, well, I find it an easy transition, to be honest. Um, you know, I, we've obviously got um, you know a, a brilliant operator in, in Paulie coming in and, and uh, taking the lead at the line out. Uh, so, you know, it wasn't a hard thing to do. Um, we had plenty of conversations prior to coming into camp um, around the line out, what we think we needed to prove on. What our strengths were, what what some of the the weaknesses were, um, both as a unit and and individually, and I think that transition um, w was good. We had disruption in the game, Pete going off and James going off early, um, and I thought we adapted pretty well to that. So, yeah, listen, it's it's you know it, it's what I think was the right thing to do, and and uh, and, and I know the players are benefiting from Paulie's experience and his detail. Uh, and, and I think we'll start to see that. Um, we already did on the weekend, but we'll start to see that over the next couple of weeks. Did you feel at the time in the, the latter stages of the last campaign that you had taken on a bit too much personally? No, I think it was it was you know, what I was asked to do, and, and uh, I think we'd had, you know, I guess we had a few changes last season. Uh, you know, a couple of uh, more senior players leaving the group um, throughout 2020. A few new guys coming in. You know, I think we gave 11 or 12, um, uh, you know, debuts. Uh, you know, quite a few of those were in the four pack, and and that transition um, is always going to uh, cause a few teething problems. But no, I, I think it was the right thing. I had plenty of support in in all areas from from uh, Fogs. Um, in the in the line out and from uh, you know Faz, Catty and, and Richie in the in the uh, defence. So it, you know for me it was it was certainly the right thing to do. It was something that we've spoken about for a while. Um, not necessarily something that was a, a, a response or a reaction to to what we did uh, during the uh, the autumn. Uh, yeah, listen. They they pose threats across the park. You know, you only saw on the weekend how dangerous they can be if uh, if you offer them the space. Um, so it's it's certainly um, you know certainly something that that we are you know I guess fully aware of. What we what we need to do is make sure that that we can be better probably at what we do. Um, whoever whoever we're playing against. So. We conceded two tries on the weekend, um, and I, I think both were avoidable, regardless of whether we were 14 or 15 men on the pitch. Uh, so making sure that we get 
get our own things right first. Um, certainly, the the threats that they will pose are you know are, are greater than some teams, no, no doubt. Uh, ball in hand, their ability to to attack the gain line, to to offload, to get behind teams, uh, their kicking game. You know, they have they have um, you know the multi-threat team. But I think if we get our own house in order, uh, then it then it becomes a lot easier to to defend any team, uh, regardless of their individuals. Just one more here, Ed, to finish up on you there. Um, obviously, mistakes happen in sport. Um, I was just wondering how Pete has been since the weekend, because obviously it was a blow for the team, but also a blow for him personally that he's now looking likely to miss you know, a few more games. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he's you know he's gutted uh, that um, you know they had to leave the field. Um, that that you know the lads had to continue for. For a large chunk of the game uh, with 14 men, um, th- you know, he's going through the process today of of uh, the hearing, and and um, he's able to, I guess, to give his uh, account of of what happened. Uh, but you know, people make mistakes. Um, you know, it, that happens. Um, we, on the whole, we responded really well to that, and you know, I, I think it would have obviously would have been. Um, um, you know, far better if we'd have had 15 men on the pitch for, for large chunks of the game. But the decision was made. You know, there were other decisions in the game that uh, weren't made, and you know we have to deal with that. And you know we, we can't look back. So, yeah, disappointment. Um, you know, massive disappointment for Pete um, in himself, and you know he, he'll have to deal with that himself. But but certainly the guys have rallied round and um, hopefully get him back um, into the, into the mix uh, sooner rather than later. And you know, like I said earlier, we could have solved a lot of those problems even with with 14 men um, to concede the two tries we did. Uh, that's still something that we could have done better ourselves. So, you know, it, it's it's up to us to make sure that we fix those things, regardless of of how many players we have um, available to us. Did he feel the need to apologise? Sorry. Did he feel the need to apologise to the group? Uh, Sorry. No. Sorry, we we're out of time there. Sorry, Simon. Uh, I have to I have to cut that down to 12 minutes. Okay. It's, it's our COVID rules. I'm afraid about that. So we're going to have to switch into our uh, embargo 